पाकिस्तानी एजुकेशन सिस्टम और दुनिया में काफी बड़ा गैप क्रिएट हो गया है एवरी टाइम जब मैं अपनी जिंदगी को देखता था उस एनवायरनमेंट में आई फेल्ट अ गैप नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ माय ओन प्रोफेशनल जर्नी बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ पर्पस वो रट्टा सिस्टम को फॉलो करते हैं रादर देन स्किल्स सीखें और रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स को समझें व्हाट इंस्पायर्ड यू सी एवरी टाइम आई लुक बैक एट पाकिस्तान आई वुड सी अ कंट्री ब्रिमिंग विद पोटेंशियल बट कंस्ट्रेंड बाय स्ट्रक्चरल इनफिशिएंसीज पर्टिकुलरली इन एजुकेशन ग्लोबली एजुकेशन इज increasingly built around outcomes critical thinking problem solving and preparing students to adapt to a world that changes every 5 years in pakistan education is still built around inputs memorizing textbooks passing exams ranking students against each other that's where pakistan is falling behind jo baaki ki duniya hai wo different techniques adapt kar rahe hain chahe wo ai ho finance ho different businesses ho ya economies ho the global digital economy is built on three things talent adapt ability and access pakistan has raw talent but it's underdeveloped and the next generation must be ready to operate at that level how do you see pakistan fitting into the global digital economy the goal is to raise children who are fluent not just in theory but in the language of global capital markets a future ready pakistan is a place where a child in multan or gwadar has the same shot at opportunity as a child in london or new york because technology merit and innovation have erased that gap that's the pakistan i see and assalam alaikum everyone my name is kanan riaz your host for today's episode normally education in pakistan has long been criticized for overly outdated and overly theoretical बच्चे हमारे पढ़ाई इसलिए करते हैं ताकि सिर्फ वो ग्रेड्स हासिल कर सकें वो रट्टा सिस्टम को फॉलो करते हैं रादर देन वो स्किल्स सीखें और रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स को समझें इसी तरह जो बाकी की दुनिया है वो डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स अडाप्ट कर रही हैं चाहे वो एआई हो फाइनेंस हो डिफरेंट बिजनेसिस हों या इकानमीज़ हों इसी सब के बीच में पाकिस्तानी एजुकेशन सिस्टम और दुनिया में काफ़ी बड़ा गैप क्रिएट हो गया है और इसी गैप को फिल करने के लिए आज हमारे पास एक बहुत स्पेशल गेस्ट हैं जिन्होंने पाकिस्तान के लिए एक ऐसा स्कूलिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इजाद किया है जो कि एआई में क्रिप्टो में डिफरेंट बिजनेसेस में पाकिस्तानी एजुकेशन सिस्टम को काफ़ी आगे लेके जा सकता है सो लेट्स वेलकम बाजल फहद असल बाजल हाव यू Waalaikum assalam and I'm good how are you I'm good thank you Bazil before diving into into the discussion of education tell us how was your journey so far My journey has been about building layers of discipline, resilience and execution. It started at Epsom College where competition shaped my early mindset. Then with the Royal Air Force I learned resilience, operating under pressure and making decisions when it mattered. At King's College London, studying economics gave me the framework to understand systems, how markets move and how incentives shape behavior. From there, I stepped into central London as a treasury analyst, working right in the middle of financial markets. And that's what pushed me to start Q points. At the same time, I launched a trading and crypto curriculum. For me, it's always been connected. Discipline, analysis, execution, now redirected into creating tools and knowledge systems that empower the next generation. We're on a successful track abroad. So, what did you think about coming to Pakistan? I was on a trajectory that by most standards looked like the definition of success. I had stability, I had growth, opportunities and the kind of career that many people aspire uh, when they move abroad. But you see every time I look back at Pakistan I would see a country brimming with potential but constrained by structural inefficiencies particularly in education. It hit me that while I could build a comfortable life abroad the marginal impact of my work there would always be incremental but if I brought my skills back home I could apply them to a system that desperately needed innovation. That difference between being another professional in a saturated market versus being someone who could fundamentally shift a, situ- uh, a system where change was needed is what pulled me back. Global education or Pakistani education system में आपको क्या gap नजर आया? लेकिन द बिगेस्ट गैप जो मैंने देखा वो हमारे रिसोर्सेज ना इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर था इवन दो दोज आर रियल चैलेंजेस द ट्रू गैप इज इन फिलोसफी Globally education is increasingly built around outcomes critical thinking problem solving and preparing students to adapt to a world that changes every 5 years in Pakistan education is still built around inputs memorizing textbooks passing exams ranking students against each other during my time at Epsom College London which is one of the most prestigious and holistic boarding schools in the world i saw how classrooms were designed to simulate the real world students were encouraged to question to debate and even challenge their teachers they were taught how to think not what to think 
That mindset creates innovators. In Pakistan, on the other hand, we're still rewarding silence, we're rewarding conformity and memorization. They can create excellent exam takers, but poor problem solvers. And the irony is, in the global economy, nobody cares about your ability to memorize. What matters is your ability to adapt, to think on your feet, to collaborate, and to create. That's where Pakistan is falling behind. So the biggest gap isn't money or facilities, it's that our system is producing graduates for a world that no longer exists. And until we align education with the skills of the future, we'll always be running behind. Pakistan has a lot of advanced ideas by introducing AI, crypto, business economies and many more. What inspired you? The inspiration came from one simple observation. The world students will graduate into looks nothing like the one their textbooks describe. When I was working abroad, AI wasn't a futuristic concept. It was already integrated into daily businesses. Crypto wasn't a buzzword. It was reshaping how we think about value and exchange. And trading wasn't a niche skill. It was the backbone of global financial markets. When I came back to Pakistan, I realized we were still preparing students for the past. We were teaching them the same formulas, the same case studies, and the same models from 30 years ago, while the world outside was moving at the speed of algorithms. The bold move wasn't to overwhelm kids with complexity. The bold move was to trust them, to believe that a 14-year-old in Karachi or Islamabad is just as capable of grasping these ideas as a 14-year-old in Boston or Singapore if we present it to them the right way. So for me, introducing AI, crypto and trading wasn't about pushing advanced concepts. It was about leveling the playing field. If our students are to compete globally, we can't wait until university to expose them to the future because they can by then, it's way too late. You have introduced Pakistan's first uh, software for education system. What does it do, basically? Grades and assignments won't matter the way they do today in the future of tomorrow. Think about it. If a student can complete an essay with the help of AI, does that really measure their learning? And if that same student underperforms in board exams because they never developed original thinking, how do we evaluate them fairly? The old system simply does not have an answer. That's exactly why I created Q points at my tech firm Quantify Pakistan. So when parents ask me, how will my child succeed if AI does their homework? My answer is this, future won't belong to kids who can just submit assignments. It will belong to kids who can think independently, communicate clearly, and lead others. And Points is our way of building that into the classroom today. We're redefining assessment from being about marks on paper to being about mindsets in action, because that's what will matter most in the AI-driven world ahead. With this approach of yours, how do you see Pakistan fitting into the global digital economy? The global digital economy is built on three things, talent, adaptability, and access. Pakistan has raw talent, but it's underdeveloped. What this model does is unlock that talent and align it with the world's trajectory. If we produce students fluent in trading, AI, crypto, and entrepreneurship, Pakistan stops being a country that only exports labor. Instead, we become a country that exports ideas, digital products, intellectual capital. Take AI. Instead of fearing it, our students will be the ones designing tools, spotting flaws, creating businesses around it. So, in the global digital economy, Pakistan's role shifts from being a consumer of other nations' innovations to being a producer, exporter, and a competitor. This isn't a dream, it's the natural outcome if we align education with the skills the world actually rewards. Uh, the software that you uh, introduced, this software is your desire to Pakistan in interior areas, in the education system. As you know that Pakistan has a lot of areas that are underdeveloped, where the education and literacy rate is not so So do you plan to uh, take this uh, particular um, software there? So see, with the QPoint software, um, we have spent a lot of time and a lot of planning developing this software, not just to uh, find a new way of grading children, but to unlock leadership, to unlock potential, um, to unlock creativity. And of course, this software is not, uh, as I said before, it's not just for elite schools. This software is for Pakistan. It's built by Pakistan, and it will definitely favor Pakistan. That's why in schools now, we've embedded financial literacy and global economics into the curriculum. Our students aren't just reading about supply and demand, they're running simulated trading rooms, analyzing non-farm payroll releases, resistance and support indicators, PMI, CPI, and other real economic signals that move markets. The goal is to raise children who are fluent not just in theory, 
but in the language of global capital markets. Basil, my last question is that if you had to finish this sentence, which is a future-ready Pakistan is. Future-ready Pakistan is a nation where human potential is no longer wasted but maximized. Pakistan where classrooms don't just produce job seekers, but innovators, traders, creators and leaders. Where cue points or systems like it ensure that every child's curiosity, courage and creativity are valued as much as their grades. Where arts, enterprise, athletics and technology are not extras, they're the core of education. A future-ready Pakistan is a nation that doesn't fear AI, but trains its children to outthink it. A nation that doesn't rely only on its labor force abroad, but exports ideas, digital products and intellectual capital. A nation that no longer measures itself by the world's standards, but sets new ones. And at its heart, a future-ready Pakistan is a place where a child in Multan or Gawadar has the same shot at opportunity as a child in London or New York. Technology, merit and innovation have erased that gap. That's the Pakistan I see. Inshallah, that's the Pakistan I will spend my life building. Thank you so much, Basil, for uh, joining us today and for sharing such beautiful insights. And you have done so much in such a young age. So thank you so much for uh, being here today. Thank you so much, Shiran. Thank you for your time. Thank you.